It's time for food and science to make an alliance. Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. Did you know that every time you eat something on this show, you're eating science? You, you're saying every time we've eaten anything, tasty, nasty, yes. whatever yes. it is, yes. it, science. Yeah. Well, we should have PhDs by now. Well, that's what I'm saying, but to really earn those degrees, we're gonna try to figure out some food experiments of our own. It's time for Food Science Without Guidance, featuring the Beaker Boys. You know how this works. We're gonna be given some items needed to conduct some science experiments, this time specifically food science, mm -hmm. but no instructions, okay? We're also gonna have some decoy items to you know, throw us off a little bit. We're gonna start out with 22 points, and if we can't put the pieces together correctly in the experiment, we can ask for lifelines, but they cost us points. If we still have points at the very end, we're gonna win a cheer lasting for the square root of 69 seconds. Okay. But if not, we're gonna be booed. All right, I'm trying to do that math. Okay, Beaker Boys, you must use some combination of the items in front of you to achieve an amazing scientific result, and your lifelines are as follows. You can choose a message from Science Michaela about the scientific principle at play. This costs <laughs> one point. I can tell you the decoy item. This costs two points for each item. Okay. I can tell you what result you're trying to achieve. This mm -hmm. costs three points. If you don't make science happen before time is up, that'll cost you five points. Let's put 10 minutes on the clock and your time begins now. So we have a bowl of mm, chocolate, I believe. Yep. Is it poison chocolate? No. Nope. It's, re uh, uh, it's regular chocolate. It's regular chocolate. We have a smells great. lollipop. Oh, we like have dip that in there. some chopsticks. Okay. We have maizena. Not a sponsor. Cornstarch. Yep. Okay. Cornstarch. And of course, we have a bowl of dry ice. And to handle that, you have to use a glove. And the gloves, uh, I've been told, are not part, part yeah, of it. They're not part of it. It's just if you handle the dry ice. So they go along yeah. with the dry See, ice. See, look, I'm going to handle this dry ice right now. Oh, just look at this that. Hand. But I'm not going to use this hand because there's no glove on it. Yeah, right. Yeah. This I, hand, I would like to see you. Gloved hand, I would like yes, to see you using your regular hand. Like, Tongue, no. Okay. So obviously anything with dry ice or cornstarch. Is gonna be fun. Is gonna be sciencey. We know that yep. both of those cause things. And this but is this is just like fun to fun to eat. Yeah. I don't think we need both, both of these. It's like one or the other. It's like right? dry ice and like too many cooks in the kitchen when you add cornstarch. Well what if we just throw some dry ice into the chocolate? I mean, why wouldn't we do that? But what happens if you put cornstarch into the dry ice and mix it with the chopstick, put 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 a dry ice in the in the chocolate just to see if it's if the start of something happens. Yeah, we can do whatever well, I, we want to. And I'm gonna try to open this cornstarch. Here you go. Here you go. So I'm just. Oh, good gosh. Oh oh oh! oh. We've it's got bubbling. bubbling chocolate. Okay, you see that? It's like that's like a tar pit, Stevie. You see? You ever been to the La Brea tar pits? No. That they had it's a museum oh, but out my front goodness. there's little tar pits, literal, and they burble and they smell like asphalt and there's fake dinosaurs. Stevie, standing you haven't in it. been to the tar pits? And like, I know. Um, I mean listen, it sounds exhilarating. Well we need to do that. Exhilarating. They're, they're That's digging, our, that's our next trip. They're we go to the tar pit. Stop. They're digging up mammoth bones in the middle of Los Angeles. Mammoths, saber tooth tigers. Oh, we need we need to hear from Science Michaela to know what we're look, going for look, here. Oh, did you see what's happening? Look, if you, if you take there's, little pieces of that, there's ice shards. Look what they're are, doing on top. They're dancing. They're on hydrophobic top. and they're on top. Did right, you see Michaela, that? I'm gonna spend a point on you telling me something. Okay. Well, I just want you guys to know that I'm so gassed up about a potential protective layer here. One more time. I'm so gassed, gassed up, up about the potential, potential protective layer here. Good gosh. Potential protective layer. Well, first of all, look at look what at the that. ice is doing. It's totally. The ice does not hold any of the chocolate. It's impervious to the chocolate. There's a protective layer <laughs> of, I mean, look at that. I think we figured it out. I mean, look. Gassed. I mean, you, you kind of did. <laughs> you did it in an interesting way. 
but you kind of did. Can I, I, I'll I suggest, do it in another way. Yeah, but it, it's more satisfying uh, if dip you and then dip and pull. Yep. So uh, sh- let's try that. I was gonna say to pour, but like if please. I, here, pour, oh, oh, pour, pour it pour, over pour, this. Pour, 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 pour. And it's gonna make a gassy, protectious layer. Oh my gosh! You can't get chocolate on a dry ice, no matter how much you try. Look, let's do more. You can try all you want. Do more. You pour, will not be able to pour dip. right here. Watch right here. And just so you know, see if I do that, see how it's staying on that? There you have it, guys. Food science. You want some in your mouth? And then, uh, there's a nice little stream of chocolate. I'd get in on that. The chopsticks are for you to touch the dry ice. See, now she's just telling us. Whoa, look at that! The chocolate kind of froze. The cho- <laughs> thought you were pouring it in my hair. And okay. then, here, let's get this let's one. Let's get some of that chocolate and eat it. Let's get, let's get this, oh, look at that. See, it just comes right out. What about, did that chocolate for, forget for, got frozen and it's like crackle? So do you know why this is happening? It's got cornstarch all over it. Eat uh, it. It's because the chocolate's afraid of dry ice. Yes. Dry ice is constantly going through the process of sublimation, aka going directly from a solid to, to a, a gas. gas. It goes because dry to a gas. ice is the solid form of carbon dioxide. As it sublimates, it creates a gaseous CO2 vapor barrier around it, preventing the melted chocolate from sticking to it. Yeah, so you like you just nestle it in there, and then nothing, nothing on there. It's clean as a whistle. Uh, we've got a plate. Okay. We've got milk. Alrighty. We've got soap. All right. Dish soap. We've got food coloring, food dye. Red, blue, thing. yellow. We've okay. got a bubba straw. Okay. We've got matches. Yes. And we have a cotton swab. And look, all the matches are in here. And this has a drawer like functionality, that which is very may impressive. come in handy. Very impressive. You know? So I'm going to go ahead and take one of these out did, and just see if it's you, real. Did you fart? You'll never know. Okay, I have to assume that this has something to do with this bubble straw and that dish show because I feel like we could blow bubbles with You think that. we're blowing more bubbles? Last time we did this, we blew bubbles. But you think they're gonna get us blowing bubbles one twice? Of the more fun things that you can do as an adult. Because I feel like if we poured... Hold on, you have a little cornstarch on your... Just... We're being timed. Oh, you know what we should do? We should make it like... It's kind of my thing. Let's let's make it like Star Wars up in here. Right. And then mix. No, no, Star Wars, blue milk. Oh. I I, I thought so that, nervous. I thought you've been to like should Disneyland. We, should we cook here? Should we cook it with a match? Maybe. We got to homogenize it. What is it called? Pasteurize it. I was going to say just take the straw and move it around. Yeah, you Look at take, what's happening there. You take the straw Hold on, hold on, stop, stop, stop. And we're just gonna you put the ma- put the match out in the blue milk. Yeah, <laughs> blue milk is not flammable. Uh, we know that now. Now take some soap and put it into our blue milk. I mean, something is a decoy. It's probably this, right? You already use a Q-tip. I on bet it. it's the match. The match is in the Q-tip. Probably. Should we ask if these are a decoy or? We should we should get one of the decoys. We did so well in the first round. Can you tell us a decoy, Stevie, please? That's two you points. You do not need. The matches. Yeah, yep. yeah, we are. See, we, we didn't but we've already played with them, so I'm not upset. That's right. Play with matches before somebody tells you you don't need them. Yep. That's that's how I live my life. You don't need much soap. That's good. And that's good. And now blow on it. Yeah. Now I'm making suck and blow. Maybe don't suck it all the way into your mouthpiece. Just blow. A little suck, a little blow. Do we want Michaela back out? Because that's only one point. Yeah, it's very helpful. Okay. It's very helpful to know Science what we're supposed Michaela. to be doing. Science, What's the principle at play Help here? us out here. I thought milk was your thing. It's just no, well, pouring, everywhere. Pouring milk. What? Yeah. You, yeah. I'm out of practice. I thought you were here to help me, not I ridicule me. I am here to help you. I am here to help you. I promise. Okay, okay. Don't be afraid. We're this, not. This hydrophobic reaction is here to help. Hydrophobic reaction is here to help Ooh. with fear. So this is an anxiety-reducing, water-hating. I don't think it has anything to do with anxiety. But why did she say, "Don't be afraid"? It's here to help. Like, 
hydrophobic. This hybr- hydrophobic. Say it one more time. Don't be don't afraid. Don't be afraid. This hydrophobic reaction is here to help. So you don't, you don't cry over spilled milk because we're able to get it up with this hydrophobic reaction. So what? So if we we spilled some milk. <laughs> Thank you, Michaela. You're this welcome. is right. This hydrophobic what? Reaction. Should I should I just no no no? Just use the plate. Okay. You're just gonna pour milk in there again? Well, yes. I mean, sp- uh, spilt milk. Don't. But she didn't say don't don't cry. She said don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. I think that was That's a play not, on pho- hydrophobic. I don't know. This hydrophobic reaction. What was the next part? Do we need something we need, from? We need something because we're. Do we need to remove something, or do we need to ask Stevie the point of this? I think we know hydrophobic. It's like. Well, how much is the getting what we're supposed to be doing? Three points. The result lifeline is three points. We'll take it. Yeah, we need that. This trifecta of ingredients will make a colorful reaction. Well, we already put the soap. And the, the, we already put we already these put three, put together. three together. But what's the reaction? Hydrophobic. So does this? It might be this, the order we put this them in. This is deep grease cutting power. So when you do this, it should send. We need more soap. I think we start with soap. No. Yeah. Well, we color the we milk. Put, we color the whole then, thing of milk. If we put, like, let's just try it. What you want to start with soap? And okay. I think we color the whole thing of milk. All right. So we have a lot of soap. That. But is, if we ruin this milk, they're gonna have to give us a whole new thing of milk. No, just pour the milk. Yeah. Don't be afraid. This hydrophobic reaction. So you pour that right in the middle. Watch, guys. Get a close up. Well, of why this. do we need the straw, cameraman? No. Oh, oh, oh! It did some things. It's creating a globule. Ooh, do we need to pour milk through the straw? I think we need another hint. Uh, it's just not quite coming together. It's like creating a cool art thing. Put another color. Why is it blue? Oh, I'm gonna make it oh, match my this shirt. Oh, because this is blue. <laughs> I'm gonna put a little red on this just to see if there's a, a reaction. Oh, that made yellow. That was awesome. Look at this, it's a little fire. You said red while you're holding yellow. And then Less you, than two minutes left. And then if you do that, I mean, um, yep, I'm, I'm being given a new Okay, plate. we're getting all new yep. milk here, so. But they're just, they're basically telling us that we suck. <laughs> so, here we go. So we're pouring some milk. We feel like we start with that, and then. Pour, um, you gotta, it's gotta be, there's gotta be some color. Oh, you you know what, you could have a t- You made oh. a jellyfish. Oh, oh. You made a jellyfish, this could be TikTok. This is very you cool. Have about 30 seconds you, left. You have done some really nice things. Well, look at that. I could be there too. I'm the guy who drops the color. And now, what all the time we need to just do to, to just, just do a little. You just pour it on there and it just does some amazing. Oh! 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 We did it. Wow. Then, look, just another? in time. Yeah, here's another just one. Just in time. Here's another one, Stevie. looking patriotic in here. And then look, it's the same thing that I could do with the straw. And then you blow on it. Well, okay, so you didn't really need the straw. Let's, uh, it, but you did it. Let's just see what it would look like without the straw. What? Caitlin, that was way cooler than what we did. She just she just took this thing and she did this. You did more than she you're doing even more than she did. And then <laughs> Yeah, it's it, it, it's not going to react now cuz it's all soaked up. <sighs> wow. Wow, that was awesome though. Hey, but we did it. We just did it. You did it. Yeah, I'm giving it to you. So the way it works is milk contains water and fat molecules. Dish soap has both a hydrophilic element that wants to interact with water and a hydrophobic part that wants to interact with fat. So when you touch the soap to the milk, the soap separates the fat from the water in the milk, aka what soap does to dirty dishes. Yep and races around to join with the fat molecules, the food coloring is just showing us this reaction. 
Food coloring is just showing. Isn't science much. cool? We want to give a shout out to the Mythical Kitchen crew. Shout out! Lately they've been challenging themselves by taking convenience store items and turning them into a gourmet tasting menu for a food critic. Uh huh. They've done Skittles, pumpkin spice lattes, you name it. So go over there to Mythical Kitchen, the Mythical Kitchen channel, for new videos every Tuesday and Thursday. Okay boys, for this last experiment you have three decoys. Oh my goodness. Same lifelines though, and the clock starts now. Three decoys, could it be the gelatin? It could be. Hold, hold, help me out. Well, you, you need it. Hold, hold that up there. All right, we've got a balloon. We've got a, a pen. Okay, a sharp needle. I'm gonna put that there. And then we have a shirt and we have stains. And, and um, one of these may be a decoy. Maybe we have to remove the stain. Well, that's too It would be nice to simple, know right? that. And then we have, what's this? The soda water. Ah, that's great. Is there minerals in it? Is it mineral water or soda water? Uh, so, soda. soda water. <laughs> so we already know that you can take soda water and clean a shirt with it. So it feels like the shirt and the soda water, yeah, I think you should just enjoy this. A, yeah, you thank you, thank you, thank you. Treat yourself. So, but without this. I think it's that thing where you take a balloon and you put a needle into it. Blow it, buddy. But uh, do you want to fill it up with gelatin first, or cover it no, in cause gelatin? No, because we have three decoys. So if even if the even if the yeah, I'm just you know what I feel like. But the gelatin is. I'm just so I got a lot of confidence right now because we've done so well, and we have to like use all our lifelines in order to not lose, right? So I feel like if you take this pen. And you put it right here on this part of the balloon that where it comes together, right? Yeah, we already know that. We've learned that. But that's not right. That works. We we learned that in a previous version of this. So they're not going back there. And then you do that. No, and then if you need to get rid Pull of it your, out. your gelatin powder. Right. Oh, if you want to spread out gelatin. You see that food science that works, Stevie? We are spreading our gelatin. How's that? Oh. That's, that's my air though. Think about it. Oh. <laughs> I mean, like you just. <laughs> I, I, I mean, I was like, "Why is he so into my air?" <laughs> like, <laughs> let's get. Can we get? Can we get a decoy? Take. Let, let's get it two decoys taken away. You do not need the soda water. Yes. You do not need. <laughs> what? The what? The stained shirt. We kind of knew See, that. See, we knew all of this. We knew all this. All right, but the gelatin. But I haven't done it yet, right? <laughs> Here's the thing: gelatin without water. How do you activate the gelatin? That's what I'm spit. That's an item. They didn't give us that. We have it. Science Michaela. We have spit. I've got lots of it. It's just like air is not an item, but we have that. So right, so spit t counts as just like wet air. Okay, you, you ready? Yeah. You know what they say, opposite charges attract. Oh, got it, got it. No, we don't opposite need this. Opposite charges attract. Tie that balloon up. Rub it on your sweater. You brought. You actually brought the right sweater today, Link. And what you're going to do? I think this do, was your sweater, wasn't it? Yeah, I know. I got big. Um, you got big. I got big. It's a little too big for me, but no, really, the styles changed. Okay. And then we're going to just take this gelatin, put it all right here. Okay. Now you take that and pick it up, friend. <laughs> oh my goodness! Look what you're doing! Oh my goodness! You're creating little icicles of gelatin. Look at that. You hear that? I'm actually not too impressed. Rhett seems <laughs> impressed enough for the both of us. I don't think this is it, dude. It, I, I mean, it, I guarantee it, you it's it. Yeah, you it is it. Why do you have to let, yeah. The more charge that you can you put impressed. on the balloon, the bigger those get. You weren't impressed because you didn't see it when it happened. Look, let, let me show it, let me show it. Let me show, well, I just, I just I did it. I want you to see it. It'll still be there, watch. Look. Yeah, but no one can see that. Yeah, but you can see it. Did you see what happened? Uh, I bet you Caitlin got a really good shot of it. Yeah, let's take a look.
Oh, I mean, it's more hair. It's you, you use the hair, and also you keep the thing in a pile. You know, keep the thing in a pile. Keep it in a pile. How do you get it in a pile? I can blow it. Yeah, you blow it with that into a pile. <laughs> That's how we do it. So, so we're three for three. We really you did a great it out job today. But I need to tell you about the science behind oh, the, yeah, yeah, this yeah, yeah. particular thing. You need thing. to, right? Uh, well, yes. The particles in gelatin are normally neutral, but when char a charged balloon is brought close, they become temporarily polar, meaning both positively and negatively charged. The negativity, the negatively charged balloon repels the negatively charged gelatin particles and brings the positively charged ones closer to the surface. This creates a long chain of molecules held together by the attraction of opposite charges. Oh! <laughs> you did that! Got him! <laughs> Even after you were laughing. I thought I did. I heard everything you said, Stevie. I waited right until you finished, and pop goes the weasel. I didn't understand what you said, but she, I also heard it. Positive and negative. That's the crazy thing. It wasn't because I cast a negative spell. It was the fact that it's positive and negative. So we get a cheer for the square root of 69. Thanks for subscribing and clicking that bell. You know what time it is. My name's Ed, I'm in beautiful Tuscany, and it's time to spin the wheel of mythicality. Cool Ed in Tuscany. Yeah, man. Click the top link Take to watch in. us taste original and new snacks with Gwyned and Good Mythical More. Cereal with water? What? And to find out where the wheel's gonna land. Watch the Mythical Kitchen repeatedly turn convenience store items into gourmet tasting menus. Click on over to their channel to find out if their meal was a hit.